coffee improving vision, you know? Um, so by the looks of it, this build is actually very strong, especially when Zagar builds nothing but Zerg. Alright, what is up you beautiful people? Welcome back to another Direct Strike Weekly Brawl on the Howdy Quality Brawl. We're playing some more Manx today uh, in our continuation of Manx Madness. Uh, and I'm going to be trying out a build that Ultimate Gandhi suggested I try out. Uh, it's a very interesting build. It's a build where I go Nudalisk, Ultralisk, and Black Hammer. Now I'm kind of excited uh, to try this build out. I actually have no idea how well it's going to do. I think with this uh, this week's Howdy Quality Brawl, it's actually going to do very well. Because the quality takes away all unit types. So for example, this building here is not considered a structure, and it's not considered armored, but normally it would be. This worm, normally would be considered biological, armored, it's not. This bunker, normally considered massive and infested, is not. Alright? I'm not massive, like, not infested, massive and armored, is not, right? Uh, another thing we have is stockpile. So we have just bonus starting resources and a hallowed ground. So obviously we get different buffs here uh, based on where we place our units all the way over here. Upgrade. There we go. And let's just push straight, straight to tier 3 uh, because everything we're trying to do is in tier 3. And because we have stockpile, we can do that. And because, uh, okay, so it looks like there's a cigar in the middle. There's a Stukov in the first position. I don't know who's in the third position. But because of the fact that everything's typeless, we can just sort of mess around uh, a little bit better. Oh, some lag over here. That's all right. Uh, and since I don't have a roll guard training right now, I'm going to be getting lots and lots of energy. Uh, and so. however, so there is a Stukov, and so I probably don't want to get Black Hammer yet. All right. So Ultimate Gandhi's build is the Black Hammer Ultralist. Uh, so it's going to be really tanky. Ultralist's major weakness is that um, it can't handle anti armor units. But uh, well, there are no there are no anti armor units because there are no units have armor this week. So uh, it's totally fine. Um, so I'm probably going to wait until 3 minutes until uh, to, to, I gas again. Uh, however, Manx's uh, structures, I think, still have status. Upgrade. Like, they still Upgrade. are armored, and they still are... Uh, uh, what is it? Still, they're still armored, Upgrade. they're still considered structures. I think it's just because Manx's stuff just hasn't been upgrade, like updated yet. Let's check this out. Uh, once my upgrades finish completing, but that is so many. Yeah, as you can see, armored mechanical structures. You can still see it. Uh, Manx is still a little bugged. Uh, that's probably because he's new. That's so many Zerglings. I'm gonna need some more Ultralis, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna need some AoE, like some good, good AoE. Uh, next wave, though. Next wave, though, because I did wanna, I did wanna gas this wave. Oh, there's a Phoenix in the last position. Well, Phoenix should be uh, not that difficult to handle, honestly. Uh, let's just get Neo Steel Frame. Uh, all right, there we go. Get some health, and then we got our, we got our Mutalis here. Three Mutalis to distract the air. We got our Black Hammer here, dropping some big damage. If I retract his anti-air weaponry, oh, it's too late. I can't. Well, Black Hammer still does good, like, massive DPS per shot, so he'll be able to, he'll be able to take out these bunkers. Uh, but when he has to attack the Marines, that's that's where he's weak. Uh, that's okay, though, because the Ultralist will do the AoE that uh, is required. Um, and that'll help make up for his weakness of not being able to do AoE. Because let's see, if I, if I retract anti- It looks, it does 56 damage per hit. Swan stores only do 30 per hit. Right, that's nuts. That's nuts. Black Hammer does so much DPS. Uh, the difficulty is just keeping him alive. And uh, well, this is where the Ultralisk uh, tune in. This is where the Ultralisk pop on in. Um, all right. So by the way, if you guys are new here to my channel and yes, have not seen Manx Madness, uh, this is the last week that I'm doing Manx Madness. Uh, that being said, though, don't be sad. I'm gonna pop a little playlist up in the top right corner. We can go check out Manx Madness. Uh, all glorious, like four weeks of it. Uh, that being said, it doesn't mean I'm gonna be cutting up Manx videos altogether. I'll just be making less of them. Because so far, Max Madness, I've been doing Max videos every single day of the week. Um, and so you're just, you're, just, you're just no stop on the Max screen. But you know, um, in the future, it'll probably be like maybe every other day I'll do a Max video. Just so I can like play other commanders too, because I do enjoy other commanders. Um, and I'm pretty sure my regular viewers, uh, a lot of you guys are like, Oh my god, I can't believe this has been going on for four weeks. Like, you just, I thank goodness Wujus is putting a stop to it. Holy crap, that's a lot of Zerglings. I don't think my Thor is going to survive this. Yeah, he's getting surrounded. He's got a full surround here. He's attacking the Overlord. Oh, he's going He's going Overwatch mode. That Overlord's going to go down quite quickly. Doc needs some AoE, though. Yeah, Doc needs some AoE. I need some AoE. I need some AoE, honestly. Um, Alright. Okay, there we go. Pop that down. Uh, so, how you, have, you, have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing okay. Um, I know, like, what this is like... It's actually... It's crazy to think that's, like, for me, at least. It's been a month for uh, since, like, lockdown for coronavirus in Canada, at least. Uh, and honestly, this month passed by really quickly. Like, 
it was so bad for me in terms of like just productivity like i just i just couldn't do anything like i don't work really well from home like i don't know about you guys like some of you guys might be better workers at home or like there's no difference between working from home and working uh, at work or school or whatever but like for me i just i can't i can't work at at home like i just i just can't like when i get, get home my brain just turns off and i'm like nope just just no working anymore uh okay let's see how all these ultras do against all these servants um their aoe attacks seem to be quite effective uh, but it looks like I just need more Ultralis. I need more Ultralis. Uh, right now, though, I need to uh, save up for a second Black Hammer, because my first Black Hammer has achieved uh, rank 3. And that is giving it a big, big fat... Oh, actually, this guy has it's not, this guy's not rank 3 yet, but this guy on the field here, he is. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy over here. Now, can I get enough resources to get the next one? I don't know if I can. Oh, just out. Just managed to get him out. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. Uh, okay, there we go. Now we've got two black cameras coming in. And you know what? I can see the strength of this build already. I, I, like, I, I understand why you're recommending this, this to me, Ultimate Gandhi. It is actually a very, very good build. I think in normals, though, where you have equality, or where equality isn't enabled, I think it'll be a little weaker to anti-armor, because your ultralisks obviously are armored, right? Your ultralisks take care of all the small particulate units at the front, while your black cameras do, like, good amounts of damage. The only issue is that, um, if there's anti-armor units, both your black hammers and your ultras are gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time because the Haka ultras at least are here helping me out, uh, and I am my my black hammers are not taking aggro because they were they were in Overwatch mode, so they were busy busy aggroing uh, air units. Uh, that being said, I think I need I need some more mules. I think these mules are actually doing a great job of just just existing in the air. I don't know if zerglings would be better though, because like zerglings would be like an additional layer of just distraction. Um, so. I'm actually liking this build. I'm actually liking, liking this build. Like, I feel like I, I haven't been as creative as possible with Manx. Like, I know I did like a video where like a, like with flying Manx tanks. That was that was hilarious. Um, I know I did some other stuff um, with uh, what is it? Just Zerg only Manx the other day too, and that was that was pretty cool. But like, it's just like there's so many possibilities. I feel like I want to try and do a build where it's just pure Sky Furies, like a pure Sky Fury build. Because um, Sky Freeze would actually be good against big massive units like this, like for example, like Sky Freeze alone would probably counter this whole build. I don't know, like Sky Freeze and like and some other sort of defensive unit. Okay, that's a lot of mainlings. But maybe like Ultralisk and Sky Freeze would beat this build. Because Sky Freeze do like 80 damage to massive units uh, per auto attack. I think actually no, that's only in the air though. That's only in the air. Orange. Okay, I'm about to get I'm about to get a, a nice message. How come you have two races? Ah. I'm Manx. Um, I got access to Zerg. I got access to Zerg and Terran units. Uh, now look at look at look at this in action. Holy! This is Kolarian, and he's getting knocked out by that. I mean, I mean, it's not actually going that fast because I think these do bonus. Um, they do a lot of damage to uh, single targets, and especially single target light units because they because they splash. I don't know why, but my graphics seem nicer right now. I, I can't tell why. But it, might, it might be because um, of the coffee that I drank. Who knows? <laughs> coffee improving vision, you know? Um, so by the looks of it, this build is actually very strong. Especially when Zagara builds nothing but Zerglings, and uh, you just chop them up. Let me get, get another Black Hammer. Uh, these Black I don't even have Bulwark Field yet. Let me research Bulwark Field, and then let me research Smart Servos. Like, I've just been BMing. I haven't even researched these things. Like, with Bulwark Field up, I think these guys, yeah, that's seven armor on this guy, uh, six armor on this guy. Phoenix Stasis Field. Okay, so he's not, he doesn't have Bulwark Field, or maybe they have to be really close. Oh, they have to be really close to each other for Bulwark Field to trigger. Like, they literally have to be standing next to each other for Bulwark Field to do anything. Uh, so, right now, as you can see, uh, this is so tanky. This guy's been tanking Kolarian for days. Uh, and this guy's tier 3, and he's gonna wipe out all these Overseers. There's so many Overseers. So many of them. So many of them. Uh, so I got, I got, I got some Unreals coming. I just wanna watch this wave in action. Um, common dudes. Come on, dudes. Let's get some upgrades. Don't let us win quick. <laughs> I agree to that sentiment. Uh, okay, the Scourge has wiped out all the Mutalists. That's fine. Uh, it looks like, though, I might need some more... Because the Bulwark Fields are triggering. Got seven armor here. Are they? I think they're glitched out again. They're, like they should be at ten armor right now, but they're not. They're not because the uh, Bulwark Field should give you up to ten armor. So I'll put down an Ultra Scope over here. 
Uh, let's put down more Mutalis. Maybe I should spread them out, but honestly, the Mutalis aren't really there for uh, damage. They're just there to like... They're just there to supplement the wave in general. Uh, this guy's this guy is not in the defensive war. Can I can I put you in the defensive war, please? Like I just want you to be tanky. I guess not. Uh, wait, I picked up the wrong ultralisk. Oops, I picked up the wrong ultralisk, guys. Uh, all right, so let's just get another ultralisk over here. I don't know. I guess you can't win. Like these guys are in the. Okay. I don't know. Some of these guys are not in the armored area. They're in the uh, assault area, which is I guess that's fine. Okay, now Bulwark Field is triggered. 10 armor, 10 armor. Maybe it's because I didn't research it um, on that wave, and so it didn't, like... I don't know. Maybe it doesn't trigger on the wave. Like, it doesn't upgrade like normal upgrades do, where, like, if you buy them, it applies to the units that are on the field already. That might be the case. Might be the case. Alright, alright, come on, Black Hammers. Do your thing. Do your thing, Black Hammers. Let's see. Um, they're hammering the Nexus. Like, this is probably, like, 80 damage per shot. Like, it's no joke. Uh, except now this guy's in Overwatch mode. They're all in Overwatch mode. Get out of Overwatch mode. And just, uh, uh-oh. Oh, no, no, never mind. There we go. There we go. There you have it. This makes Manx games are going pretty fast, because I think it's just because Manx is just too good if he has no uh, counters. Um, especially when his units are, are, not, are not typeless. Like, normally, like, this would get countered by, like, I don't know, <laughs> Aberrations, Marauders, Siege Tanks. Oh, we had a guy leaving. Enemy Phoenix left. Really? Oh, is that why I didn't see? I remember seeing Kalarian for a bit. I guess he left at the, like the last, well, the last bit. Um, so let's see. Wow, I killed a lot of guys. It's probably because I ran into Zagara and Stukov, where they just rushed like a lot of dudes, uh, which makes sense. Uh, I dealt the most damage though. Wow. Okay, so I guess this build's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Thanks for recommending it to me, Ultimate Gandhi. Um, I got, got 10k. You know what? I might try it again tomorrow. So. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like uh, and yeah, to let me know and tune in next time for tomorrow where I'm going to try this build out yet again. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.